Hey, this is Diane Lee from Teach Pre-K, and I'm going to take you for a little peek into my week. Um, yesterday was Valentine's Day, and uh, today we're starting dinosaurs. There's a few more things I'm going to do, um, but I have to hurry and get this done before anyone comes in this morning. Okay, so here I've got my uh, dinosaur dig sensory bin, and I actually have some real uh, like shark teeth fossils and things like that in here along with these little dinosaur skeletons. Magnifying glasses, old paint brushes. I think I might put some sand sifters in here too. But these uh, dinosaur fossils you can just get at a party store or order from Amazon. Um, as we go through, I've just got dinosaur pictures and posters. I think I made that a million years ago. Um, but here's my dinosaur poster wall. And, um, if you watched my, how to set up your dramatic play, you're going to see in my dramatic play area, all the things I gathered. Looks like the custodians knocked over a chair, but I've got a thank you for visiting. I've got a welcome over here. I've got my dinosaur signs, my skeleton that they can take apart and put back together. I've got my Velociraptor skeleton hanging um, up in the window that was kind of the inspiration for all of this. Little pretend fossils, little scientist area. Thank you for being patient while I lifted up that chair. But really cool thing I got, um, one of the parents had a bunch of fossils and these are just two, these little fish fossils. And then this is actual petrified dinosaur poop. And this is just fossilized um, seafloor. So that was cool. I've got more fish and stuff in the back to show the kids. Uh, block center, I have kind of big dinosaurs and medium dinosaurs and some blocks. I have got my pocket chart tent. My dinosaur books are ready to go. I've got dinosaur magnets on my magnet board. More dinosaur imagery. Um, just set up this new uh, cart. So I've taken um, everything out of my back room and this is my new system. So let's see, today is Wednesday and today we are gonna make volcanoes. They take about a week to dry. So next week on Thursday, so I'm gonna give these eight days to dry. We will do the baking soda um, lava coming out. We always do like red food coloring. We are gonna do an herbivore, carnivore, dinosaur sort today with manipulatives. Um, this is really cute. It's a dinosaur hunt. So these are numbered one through 10. I'm gonna stick them out in the hall and then they have a little check off sheet for when they go and find their dinosaurs. Cute, cute, cute. So that's today. I'm gonna show you some of the other dinosaur activities I've got. Tomorrow, we will be coloring baby dinosaurs, making a dinosaur egg with the baby dinosaur coming out. And we are done tomorrow because we don't have school on Friday. So Friday is empty. Um, over here, my next week letter of the week is D and this is free in my Teachers Pay Teacher store. You could get the anchor charts, a bunch of activities, these little cards. Um, that have like the letter D and beginning sound words. Here is my Lakeshore beginning sound tub. So now I've got just this letter of the week area. And in here, I've got my folder. This little folder right here has all my letter D activities. Um, this is next week. I've got like an opposites activity. Um, we will be making dinosaur fossils. Um, I've got some vocabulary cards that we can play memory with. We haven't done that yet this year. I'd like to try it. I have some count and match puzzles. Um, this is the coolest, you guys. Okay, this is so fun. I made this 3,000 years ago, but I'm going to show you the general idea. So I just made these dinosaur shapes, really simple, and put numbers on them. And then they're gonna make a stegosaurus with all of them. So this one has the number 10 on it. So they'll put 10 clothespins on here. So they go, um, I have them one through 15 because my pre-K is ready to do some 
um, identifying teen numbers and counting a little bit higher. But I made it a million years ago, guys. Laminated it, laminate everything because then you have it forever. I've got a dinosaur egg patterning activity. This is like a number bingo with the dice, match it with the real numbers. Um, this is a count the dinosaurs on the page and put the little number in there. Um, let's see what else. Oh, this is my favorite. Okay, so next week on Thursday, on Friday, which will be the last day of our dinosaur unit, the kids are going to draw a picture of their dinosaur. And they'll say, like, my dinosaur is, it could be big, it could be scary, it could be funny, um, a soccer player, whatever. Its name is, you know, Henry, Julia, it likes to eat pizza or cornflakes or just whatever. So, like, this one is the example I have. My dinosaur is big. His name is Stanley, and he likes to eat pizza. And there's a picture of a dinosaur and pizza. So, that's kind of what I'm doing until next Thursday. Um, also, I've got these little velociraptor claws. That's the real size of a velociraptor claw. And we uh, put on dinosaur hats and go around the building and look for the letter V because V is for velociraptor. So that's an activity I've done. Um, this is a mark the letter, letter search with, we do this with daubers and I've got letter cards. Um, this is uppercase, lowercase match. This is something I'll do. Um, I might actually do this today, but it is macaroni dinosaur fossils. And then we put these on our bulletin board out in the hallway. These are super fun. I just got these images of dinosaur skeletons. I think I have about four different images. Um, just, I did a Google search and searched for images and printed these out. Um, and then the kids just glue on macaroni and make really fun dinosaurs. Um, I have a find the number, like find the letter, but it's on a big stegosaurus. And I have it like one through zero through 15 for my pre-K. I have zero through 10 and zero through five. Here's the number cards for those. Oh my gosh, this is a super cool activity. Um, this is how big is that dinosaur? And each one of these has a picture of a dinosaur and it has a string attached to it. And the string is actually how long that dinosaur is or how tall that dinosaur is in the case of like a Brachiosaurus and a Brontosaurus. Uh, but it's amazing because we have to go into our gym to uh, do the Brachiosaurus because it's so big. Um, this is a dinosaur, like uppercase, lowercase match with a sound picture. Like this is C for cookies. They like that. Uh, dinosaur shape sort. I'll just get a bunch of things, different shapes. We'll put these out. They're little bags and they will put the shapes in there. And I've got build the dinosaur fossils and oops, this is a disaster. Shapeosaurus. Shapeosaurus is super fun. It's kind of hard for them to do, but yeah. So there you've got it. So I hope that gives you some wonderful ideas of things that you can do during your dinosaur week. Um, I also have dinosaur coloring sheets in my writing center. Um, and just the whole room is dinosaur, dinosaur, dinosaur. Tons of dinosaur books. Um, I'm going to go up to my reading room and get more dinosaur books. But as usual, thanks for watching. I know this was really fast, but I have very little time until all my coworkers start coming in and I want it to be finished with this little video. But I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week. Hey, I'm just about ready to go home, but I wanted to add one more thing and just show you another thing that I did um, for Dinosaur Week. The kids had a blast today. Um, we made volcanoes. It's been just way too much fun. Okay, so here's my dramatic play area, and I got a book that had a life-sized poster of the bottom of a T-Rex jaw. I guess that's the mandible, but they died over that. They're like, oh my gosh, it's as big as me, and it's just so cool. They loved that. Um, another thing that I did, I'm going to take you over here to my little writing center. Um, I got dinosaur coloring sheets just from a clip art. So they're, you know, they're little clip arty figures, not anything realistic, but they had an absolute blast coloring these today too. Even the boys who usually don't color in this class, absolutely loved it. Um, I'm gonna see if there's anything else I can show you guys that we did. 
Uh, I don't know if I showed you that this this morning, but I did get to show them all these fun fossils and it was awesome. They had a great day. Again, thanks for watching. Um, it's Wednesday and it feels like I've been here for 10 days straight and I probably look like it too, but it's been quite the week. It always is when there's a holiday and a holiday party, but thanks again for watching a little peek into my week of dinosaurs.